It is time for coaching with Carrie. We're stepping into Carrie's bedroom, living room. Makeshift home here. My home. She's even got the curling iron and the brush. Back in the day, it felt like this is my home when we started well, here. Exactly. Right? Yes, we were here together overnights, and that was a lot of fun. And now you're here today to talk about putting movement in your life, and these are little things that you've been doing so long that you don't even think about it anymore. Yeah, it was funny. We're doing this um, simply moving class, and it literally just helping people get through blocks of working out. Okay. And I'm showing them what I do, and I just naturally do these things now. So it, it does. I don't even notice that I'm doing them. You just and naturally embarrass the kids, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna. I'm gonna show. So this is the bedroom. We have a bathroom. We have a kitchen. We have your stairs, okay. and then a, a, a chair. Okay? okay. So we're just gonna show you how. And if you can make a habit of of doing this again, all of a sudden you may just start doing it. For a lot of people watching, it may be kind of weird at first. Okay, so I'm gonna start with bed, okay? So you can move your body before you even wake up in the morning. All right, okay. so I'm laying here, I don't wanna get up. All I have to do is lift my hips, pinch yep. my butt, get my mm -hmm. glutes going, and just hold a bridge, okay? okay? And then I'm like, oh, I'll roll over, I wanna press snooze. And I'm like, huh, I can just do five little the, leg lifts. Side leg lifts. Right, there's, a, there's probably 10, to exercises you can sit do before. Sit up to bed maybe? Yes, sit up to okay. bed. You can turn and do plank. There's a lot of stuff that you can do hmm. before your feet hit the floor. Okay. okay? Now we're going to go to the bathroom and get ready. Okay. okay? So I'm over in the bathroom. We'll talk about this in a second. I got to brush my hair. I got to brush my teeth. I can stand on one leg, start doing some circles, maybe some squats. <laughs> that's like, that's brush like rubbing teeth. your tummy and patting your yes. head at the same and time. Then, so I turn the shower on. Okay. It's getting warm. I'm against the wall. I can do a wall sit yes. and hold my okay. squat. Okay? Some calf raises. So there's a lot that you can do. Interesting. Even balance. Because yeah. I've noticed mm -hmm. even as I get just a little older, balance isn't quite there without trying. Yep. And this is one of my favorite tools. It's called the balance pad. So I actually will just keep it in front of my sink or in my kitchen. And it just kind of prompts you to just hmm. kind of do it. Oh. You guys have heels on, otherwise I'd make you do it. So look, at, you can already see me like trying to recruit my muscles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really, really good for you. Okay. So I like to just throw this stuff around the house. And sure. then it's like, oh, I'm going to go stand it's on there, that. there, I'm going to do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the kitchen. We're making coffee. We're stirring. This is where I get my arm workout in. So here, I usually I'm sitting here. I'm talking to someone. I'll just hold plank. Or oh. I'll do some push-ups. Okay. Yeah. Or I'll swing my legs and get my hips open. Yep triceps. Use okay. what you have. Yeah. Yes. So I've also conditioned myself that anytime I see a step or a curb, okay. I'm doing something. So <laughs> you can do calf raises yep. or just lunges up and down. Usually at home, I'm sprinting up the steps. Okay. Okay. So steps are a really good one. Two and at then, a time. <laughs> yes. You know. And then we're always sitting all day long. Mm -hmm. So if you can wire yourself to do a movement before you sit down and then when you get up, so I'm going to go down, and I'm just going to hold this for five, ten seconds. Oh, yes. Then I'm going to sit. I'm just picturing our next meeting. It'll Lisa be awesome. and I are going to come and sit down but and be like, like, what are you guys doing? You guys have this in Give your head, and here. maybe you'll start joking about it. <laughs> yeah. But then you're like, yeah. Yeah, Karen just said, let's, let's hold it. <laughs> yep. Just imagine. Okay, and let's do it a little bit longer, longer. Right. So now like I'm going to get up, and I'm going to like, wait, before I go, I'm going to do five squats. Okay. Or do some jumping jacks and then get moving. Yeah. I mean, and just to be clear, you know, you're not a personal trainer, but you're just mm -hmm. showing people how, how to, to fit just it in. get moving. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And this is one of my other favorite little tools that I can keep in a purse. So okay. these are okay. really good to put. Not a headband. Oh, not a headband, but think about it, Just go like this once. Okay. Yeah, these are tough. Man. Right? This one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Your legs, you can put them on your legs. They're really good okay. for getting okay. those stabilized, to stabilize your muscles. What can we find on your website? So we have the Simply Moving class okay. that's going right now. It's four weeks long. It's a self-study that you can oh, do on good. your own. Okay. And it'll basically help you through some of these blocks that you may have of not wanting to go to the gym. I don't have time. I feel guilty because <laughs> my kids. Okay. So it'll help you through that. Okay, very good. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks.